Gemini 2.5 flash image, Nano Banana is out. It's the best image editor compared to any other previous image editor, such as Flux, Quen Image Edit, or even the previous Gemini. I'm going to draw this, I'm going to say 30, and what is this? I'm going to type find the value, and here is the output. That is correct. So this is called core drawing. Uploading a mug and uploading a scene and dragging this product to this location. And here is the output. So you got the mug added here with the same light effects. Is this the end of Photoshop? AI powered photo editing. Uploading this, changing it to anime and apply filter. And here is the change. Also, I'm going to show you how you can create a user interface like this where you can upload your image and add for any modification just with natural text prompt and get an image like this. So I'm going to take you through step by step how you can set up the Gemini image editor also called Nano Banana and create an app using that just with few lines of code and create a user interface. That's exactly what we're going to see today. Let's get started. This image got edited to this image just with prompt. Similarly, this image got edited to this image. Normal image converted to a Nike ad image. And we have multiple use cases. It's the top in LM Arena board. It's better at image editing and also image generation, topping the list. Here are a few other examples. Extending a partially created image, adding this dress to the first person standing here. And you can see the output here. The first person got the same dress. I added my own image, asking you to add a cap with Mervyn Prison at the top, and then adding a beach at the background, and then a smile. This is all more realistic and character consistency. You can go to aistudio.google.com slash apps to browse all the apps. There you got various apps such as Pass Forward, Home Canvas, Gemini Code Drawing, the things which I showed. So you can directly edit your image there. So that's what you saw here, Home Canvas. So here's the bed, just dragging that hair in the right location. And that got added there, as you can see here. This is really nice. To get started, it's very easy. Go to aistudio.google.com. There, choose Gemini 2.5 Flash Image Preview. There I can say, plot any specific graph and click Run. And here is the requested plot. That is really nice. Also, I can add my own image and just say, add a hat with Mervyn Prison written on that. And clicking Run. And here is the output. Hat is really nice with my name written. And that is really nice. Similarly, you can edit any of the images. Also, you can get the code if you want to run it locally here. Next, I'm going to show you how you can set up to create an application with this image editor. So first thing, to get the Gemini API key. Go to aistudio.google.com and get your API key here. Create API key. Next, open your terminal from your computer. There, pip install Google Gen AI and Gradio and then click enter. Google Gen AI is the main package to integrate this image editor and Gradio is for user interface. Now clicking enter and these all got installed. Now export Google API key and paste the API key which you have just generated from AI Studio and then click enter. Now let's create a file called app.py and let's open it. Inside that first we are importing Gen AI from Google and image from pill and byte IO. Next getting the client, adding a prompt to add a cap to a person's head. Then going to add my own image. Then using generate content function to modify the image which I'm just uploading. So I got mervinpresent.jpg here. So adding that here. And finally, I'm saving that in generatedimage.png. That's it. So totally this much amount of code and we have successfully integrated Gemini 2.5 Flash within our own Python application. So now I'm going to run this code. So it is going to add a cap to the person's head. Coming back to my terminal, Python app.py and then click enter. It says a generate image saved as generate image.png. Let's open it. Here's the generate image with the cap. That is nice. We have completed setting it up and creating the basic Python app. But finally, we need to create the user interface. For that, I modify the code slightly, just importing Gradio as GR, adding the remaining code in this edit image function with image and prompt as the input. And this gr.interface will automatically create two columns. One is input column with image and the prompt and the output column with the edited image and the status. That's all. Gradio launch to launch the whole user interface. So I'll put all the code in the description below. 
Now coming back to my terminal, Python UI.py and then click enter. Now it's running in this URL, so I'm going to open this URL. And this is how the image editor looks like. I can upload any image and ask it to perform a task that is editing the image and it should be able to edit the image with image consistency. That is the key thing. Overall, I'm really impressed with this release. Do try and let me know in the comments below what you think about this. Considering you already like Gemini Image Edit, I also created another video about Gemini 2.5 Pro. It's a review about that. I'll put the link in here and I will see you there.